Hey guys, Asian Baka here, and today we do episode 9 of Dao Sekno, and let's get on with the video. Mm. The body slammed before my alarm clock went off, put a number on me. I never asked her to wake me up. Nori. Huh? It seemed like she only ever pulled these kinds of stunts when I stayed up late. Hmm. I was overthinking it. Her head, it's just an amalgamation of nonsensical sister logic. Even though she's not my sister, she was really intent. Hey, morning. You're dressed up? I see. I didn't even need to ask if she would stay the whole day though. There's something different about you today. You just seem raring to go. Did the birds wake you up early? Yeah, I can hear the pigeons too. What do you think they were? You think this is the jungle or what? She must have been dreaming about toucans or something. Anyway, you seem wide awake. Why don't we head to class together? <laughs> What's so shocking about that? I can hear Iris talking too, remember? Morning, Iris. I thought it would be better if I didn't pretend not to hear her. So, what do you want to do? A different route? Oh. Which is it? Bye bye. But bye. Hmm. She was right in that the regular route to school was crowded. I had never seen her over there. She arrived much later to class than I did, though. Nori had some things to do, so she left, and Io. Waiting for her would be kind of weird. It's not like I can't go to school alone. So, let's go. I was wasting time standing around. That's not good. I need to get to I need to get the most out of my classes. Whew. A lone bird with unusual plumage caught my eye. I ran after it, trying not to be trying not to be distracted by the glittering snow sprites all around. I began hyperventilating. The sweat on my forehead made the sea's breeze caress feel cool, sending shivers through me. Maybe that's why I lost sight of the bird. But there was another. Hey. The sun's bearing down hard today. You okay? I see. That's why she was looking downward, shooting her eyes. Oh, it's the book's lucky day, getting your attention instead of the sky. <laughs> was it that bad? That's a pretty high score. Yikes! I celebrated too early. If that's even possible. And here we were joking around again. This had been happening a lot lately. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt your reading. Kinda already did, though. Kinishinai, kinishinai. 
You're never overly cautious around people, are you? If I said yes, then would you? Yeah, there's nothing to be touchy about, I suppose. If anything, I should be the one who's more cautious. I'm the one interrupting your reading time. interrupting your reading time and everything. Oh, you're right. Sorry. Alright, got it. I was shy, reluctant, waiting for acceptance, but her gaze had already drifted into the heavens. I think the sugar plantations would be overwhelmed by the order. I don't have a farmer's hat. Sorry. Her cute smiling face pointed upward again. Yeah. Her smiling face and this scenery went hand in hand. Hey, Himari. Do you not usually read here? So, just if you feel like it? I had a feeling you weren't just always staring at the sky. Hmm. Hmm? That was an odd reaction. I wonder, did I say something weird? Yeah. She was suddenly right if in my face. Sheesh. Her cuteness shocked me that shocked me that much more. I needed to play cool, or else I'd be giving her ammo to tease with me. But still, reading here, isn't it actually kind of hard to relax? Do you only read books in your dorm? Get real. I'm not with the news newspaper company. How about the internet and stuff? Hmm. But you have a tab, right? Isn't that inconvenient? Yeah, it is. I see. Thinking about it, time always seemed to flow at a metal, at a metal place here, metal pace here. Of course, the clouds drifted by, and eventually the sun would start setting, and plant it in the foreground of this beautiful scene. Himari stood with her gentle smile, quietly unaffected by the flow of time. Not caring about time. Must be relaxing. Waking up naturally with no alarm on a weekend is the best feeling. But I guess that's the norm for a certain someone. When the sun's shining, you mean you get up at dawn? And you sleep at sunset? 
guess I hit the nail on the head, huh? Come on, I don't spy on you. That observation was simply based on situational evidence. I mean, isn't that like what old people do? Early to bed, early to rise. I know it's healthy. You read when you stay up late? I said I don't spy on you. I never denied that. It's not exactly unexpected, but I had no idea she liked to read that much. But I always I was always curious as to what she was doing after leaving class so early all the time. Maybe having the tab would be good though. But it's useless without any power. Do you even need to ask? But you know you can read books and comics on smartphones and stuff these days, right? I think it's cool that you come and read over here. But isn't it tough carrying books around? You can only bring a handful over here. Ah. Did that convince you? For reals? The tab can download books too. So you should maybe consider going digital. I mean, if you want easy going, then digital is the way to go. To some extent, the pursuit of science and technology is the pursuit of laziness. Basically, what Himari valued and what kind of principles or goals she said she had. I hadn't I hadn't the foggiest clue. It wasn't a bad thing though that she enjoyed beautiful scenery and always took the path of least resistance in whatever she did. And the tab even has a function to never display the time. It might make your trips over here even more fun, you know? Me? No, I read sometimes. Hmm, well, lots of different stuff. Yeah, for sure. If you say so, maybe I'll give it a shot next time. Oh, but... I couldn't help but think it. I'm not trying to be annoying though. Really? Damn it! I wanted her to love me. We're just lighthouse buddies. I wonder, why was I embarrassed to say friends? I can feel some humidity in it. So, we're taking the same route back, I assume? I might not be the best bodyguard. That would get me arrested. It most definitely won't. 
I see. Himari, staring blissfully at the sky and the surrounding scenery, along with the relaxing passage of time, was a privilege of coming here. Go ahead and eat them all up. It's pure sugar, so a heck of a lot. You have to just imagine eating them then. Privilege. Even though she barely talked with anyone else, that I could be here chatting casually with her was a special privilege for me. December 16th, Wednesday. Yeah, I forgot to take some of my trash out. She let out an exhausted yawn, but looked really cozy. I was just jealous and sleepy. I couldn't give up on beating that boss last night. Y yeah, you're right. I'm off. Mmm. <sighs> Not a bad send off. Time to start the day. Huh? Those clothes could only be. Uh. Did something happen? I thought you left way earlier than me. A witch's familiar? Oh, you mean a cat? So, it was a cute one, huh? She seemed anxious and disappointed. She probably wanted to pet it at least once. Maybe it was a stray. You wanted to catch it? No way. You can you couldn't have that in the dorm. I think Nori would be fine with it, but I wonder about Himari. Ah, I guess I can see that. She was spontaneous and free, and with that last yawn, she might as well be a cat. You concerned? Yeah, huh. Her expressions were complicated as usual, but this concern was a side of her I hadn't seen. Symbol of contract. You mean it had a collar? Hmm. I had no idea how the cat ended up over here. But if it obviously had an owner, then Io definitely couldn't bring it back. If it's used to people, I don't think you need to worry about it. If it was afraid of people, it wouldn't have gotten close in the first place. 
Also, I don't think there's any real danger on this island anyway. I could tell she wanted to go look for it, but we had things to do. Class is going to start any minute. Let's go together. Just saying, we're gonna be late. If we started now though, we'd be on time. If you're still worried, we can look again after class. Okay, let's go then. I guess so. I was having unexpected good luck this morning. I got to see a much softer side of Eo. Courage didn't magically come, even when you needed it the most. 30 minutes gone. I had been standing here, just letting my sighs blow away in the wind. I fully understood I was blowing it. I'm so weak. Uh, no, it's fine. I was just spacing out. Well, yeah, I feel like I am. I should at least applaud Ame for not suddenly appearing and screaming. She had taken my request to heart. It was my fault for muttering dejectedly about my problems. I guess. Yeah, I guess. No, not at all. No, I didn't guess anything. That was one thing I knew for sure. You know I appreciate it, but... Do you... do you have a plan? Oh, you got something together? Wow, you are on top of it, Ame. So, what's this plan of yours? Oh my god, such an amazing plan if I didn't think about that. Sorry, I don't follow. Hey, Ame. Allow me to ponder that for a moment. Thanks. Uh, okay. Let's con let's consider this. Approach girls. This is what Ahmed did last time. It just seemed like we were trying to hit on them, and it was a disaster. Afterwards, Ahmed said she would think of another way, and then we finished up for the day. And now today, Ahmed's suggestion was to. That's the same as last time! What's not the same? We just talked to girls randomly last time. When you say, uh huh, -huh you mean you have a way to talk to them that's gonna work? Oh, not bad. Mm. That laugh instantly brought me back. Something seemed fishy here. So, how do we talk to them? What kind of wisdom? Hmm. 
She must have looked up pickup artist theories or something. But I doubt that something like that would be in her database. Well, if you're confident, let's do it. Okay. I had a pretty bad feeling about this, but it was better than literally having no plan. Yeah, she was. She was definitely looking at the pageant poster. It was the only poster on the board after all. Alright. We hadn't discussed what she was gonna going to say. Was that okay? I guess she had she just had I guess I had I guess I just had to trust her. Yup. Alright. Just take a breath. Um, you can go ahead and leave. We're sorry for surprising you like that. Y yes I'll be going. <laughs> Come here, Ame. <laughs> Forget it, just get over here. <laughs> all wrong, all wrong. What year do you think this is? This isn't the Wild West. This isn't even America! I'm not a cowboy! What hat? It wasn't a matter of being good or not. It just went off on quite the tangent. Ah, uh, I mean, no. I didn't mean it like... Don't get so upset. I'm starting to feel guilty over here. I know she... I know how she felt, but still. I do appreciate that... You at least thought of something after you said you would. I can see that. So much it hurts. No, that's not what I meant. Just forget it. I don't hurt anywhere. It was just an expression. She was... Painfully nice. What could I what could I even say? Something about it going over her head going over her head upset me though. At any rate, that was a no-go. The setting was just too far off. You don't have any other ideas? Like a better line or greeting? So, the wells run dry? Uh, how can you keep a smile so pure? We're at, we're at the end of our rope here. Or rather, I was. Ah! When I thought about it, Ame was helping me, but it was more like I was involving her. It was my problem to begin with. I needed to pay a more active play a play a more active role myself. Guess there's no avoiding it. I'll just approach girls normally. But it put everyone at ease if you stuck around with me, Ame. Ame 
Yes, really. I want you to. No, I'm the one who needs to try. You can just stay near me and smile. If I was alone, they would instantly think I was trying to hit on them. But if you're with me, then the chances of that go way, go way down. That's not my objective, right? This is purely to find a candidate for the pageant. Thanks. I was a little curious why Ame wasn't processing that simple point. This was this was it. Like spring and praying. One's got a hit. Not one bullet hit the mark. Disaster. Nothing. But Ame diligently did her job and smiled. She followed my directions, that was for sure. So the fault was purely on me. <sighs> Even beyond finding a candidate, I was a little down. I could, I could kind of sympathize with the guys who hang around picking up girls outside the train station. I guess I just had no appeal to women. I knew that already, but still. Hmm. Oh, you do that for me? Yeah, we really do. But don't push yourself. I appreciate the gesture. It's my responsibility to get this done at the end of the day. But, at the very least, I could approach girls today, but the results were. Abysmal. But it wasn't a complete loss, you know? I had the courage to approach girls about this matter. I, pro I proved that today. Which means I was able to do it. I'll be able to do it next time, too. It's not something that I'll forget tomorrow, right? Today was a swing and miss. Putting it that way makes it a little easier to accept. Yeah, I'll call you when I need you. Just stand and look cute by my side. I had an epiphany as I pondered. Ame did her best in her own way. I needed to acknowledge that properly. She was ready and willing, of course. I also wanted the party to be a success. Alright, I'm going home. I'll think about this again tomorrow. Okay. Even if it was just her, having someone to back me up on this was a big help. I need to live up to the expectations. Later, Ame. Alright, back to the dorms. December 17th, Thursday. Do. Box. Shoji. Wow. I can't believe he got that. He was already gone. The cafeteria was always a war zone anyway. Food was never a guarantee in the chaos. It was all about the fir the initial dash. Mm. I was a little surprised that I was able to communicate with them in abbreviations. Oh, I didn't mingle with them. I'm just used to dealing with them, is all. Kuro no banmin o ashiratta to iu no ka. 
I still need to polish my skills. I guess so. I feel pretty composed, relaxed today. I'll take that to heart. Bye. Right. Io ate on the roof. I mean, in her barrier. I made my lunch today, but the effort required the effort required was definitely unexpected. Was Io more on top of it than I thought? Nah. It wasn't right of me to assume she wasn't on the ball just because she was a little eccentric. And this was this also wasn't the time to be analyzing her. I had a lunch to eat. Mmm. I can't relax here in the classroom, but maybe that was just me not letting myself. Regardless, I needed a place where I could at least feel relaxed. Let's move. We can go help out at the student council room or head to the roof. So as the first choice of this Dao Segno visual novel, we can either see Hazuki or we can see Io. Wow. Because I really want to see Hazuki, but I also want to see Io at the same time. But we'll go with Hazuki. I apologize for making you stop. What do you mean? Oh, I guess you're right. That's good. Good. Eat first, work later. Oh, you're not going to try and stop me? That would be me. Yes, me. <laughs> this was the first place I thought of when pondering where to eat my lunch in peace. Oh, uh, yeah. Somehow I didn't think she would suggest eating together. Hey, you're trying work and eat at the same time. It is. No working while eating, or are you defiant? Oh, don't just affirm it so easily. Don't ask me now. I thought you just affirmed it. Also, no working in between confusing me. I came here to help, so I may as well do all I can to lessen your burden. Well, I really came to eat my lunch with her. Well, it is lunchtime after all. Yikes, she saw right through me. Yeah, I did. I thought it would be good to fix one up occasionally. Did you forget that a blooming rose we must prepare our own food? So, we all cook, some more than others. Oh. Oh, nothing. I thought about the hopeless beauty for a second. Hey, you. 
Your eyes were drifting back over toward the papers. I understand that. That's why I know you need help. But if you're busy, you should. Hmm? What's that face? Like you just thought of something. Huh? No, I... uh... heard that. ここでのお仕事ぶりを見ていて、結構しっかりされているとおもいましたし。手をつけた作業も途中で投げ出したりもしませんでしたし。途中で作業速度も上がりましたし、それでいて。ミスもありませんでしたし。うーん。はずき。なんでしょう。It's um, really great of you to say that. Thank you. But am I really an exemplar exemplary worker? 適応力は見事だと思いましたよ。Really? I wonder about that. どうです? メンバーになりませんか? Mm, I wonder. I got the feeling I couldn't make this decision lightly. Above all, I couldn't tell at first if Hazuki was serious or just jesting. Yet, if she was serious, then I needed to respond in kind. Mm. Um, I would like to mull, mull it over a bit. I'm still not totally familiar with everyone here. And I also don't fully understand the workings of the student council. I mean, I'm still unclear of the Christmas party too. Something tells me that immediately accepting underestimates the difficulty of the work. <laughs> Oh, you're joking. <laughs> she was a little trick she was a little trickster sometimes. Um thank you. なのにあなたは考えてくださいました。ありがとうございます。ハズキ。簡単なお仕事ではないって言葉が一番嬉しかったですよ。I actually looked pretty happy. Her smiling face was, ju was just so cute. Oh, I... Uh, uh... You're right. I'll be more careful. しっかりしてくださいね。きちんと褒めたばかりなんですから。now that she mentioned it, I was overthinking everything. And I was a little sour that she had the upper hand. Hmm. I need to flip the table somehow. Hazuki. Nandesu? Would it trouble you if your workload decreased? Sore ni tsuite wa mae ni mo o hanashi shita to omoun desu ga. It's your purpose? But if your workload decreases, you can go home early. I don't mean it like that. If you go home early, you can be with your stuffed animals. 
why don't you get some extra hands up in here so you can focus on your work at home? You're not? Huh? わかっています。わかっているんです。寂しい思いをさせていることくらい。え、ですけれど。私だって寂しさをこらえて、学園のために頑張っているんです。会いたくて。でも会えなくて。会いたさが募って、会いたい気持ちを胸に抱いて。
take it easy. Hmm. What was that all about? Well, it was eel, so I could just brush it off. Oh, and hey, Yamato, why are you getting ready to leave so soon? Weren't you on cleaning duty? <laughs> oh, Yamato, you're such a nice friend. Leaving me with the cleaning duty? Ah, oh, best friend. I don't mind cleaning up for you, but what's the errand? Report? Oh, okay. Not like I knew what he was talking about. He must be referring to one of his superiors or something. Someone on the island? Fine, I got it. Don't worry. Save the drama, man. Just leave it to me. Don't even worry about thanking me. You're gonna be late. Later. A noble one he was. But I could use this as a bartering chip for help finding a candidate. Thank thanks for that, Yamato. I'm human too, you know. Sometimes we have to. Muhaha. you headed back? Looks like you're a little spacey today too, huh? No, that's not... Yeah. She laughed when I thought she was angry. Guess I still couldn't put a finger on her. And she was gone. Alright then. What to do after I finish cleaning? Like Io just said, we had homework today, and a lot of it at that. Hmm. We can either stop by the lighthouse, or go back, go straight back to the dorm. Like the second choice within this Daoseg no visual novel, Himari, or either Io or Nori. And I love my Himari. My time limit to pick a candidate was enroaching fast. The more I thought about it though, the more I realized I had no answer. I wasn't casting off my responsibilities and I didn't have a change of heart either. The only thing I could think of was to draw the it will draw the it'll work out somehow card. And at a time like that, my feet led me Hi. Yeah, I stayed on point to the end. Cause you know, I don't ditch. But you do. Am I wrong? You can't mask it with metaphors. You don't need to pout. I already know that. <laughs> well, at least I know not to drag you back to class from here. Her pinky gliding along her hairline made her ear look small and cute. Timely, timed perfectly with her last quip, 
It was a formidable attack. What if I say yes? I attempted my own attacking in return. Our eyes met only for a split second. My heart rate spiked and my forehead grew hot, indicating my own retort was a total miss. I... Ah, uh, I was born like this. It was a hot topic among the nurses. Well, not quite a legend. <laughs> and she was always a tease. It could be irritating, but I kind of liked it. In fact, it was one of the things I looked forward to when coming here. I was surprised at the realization. Perhaps I was a masochist. Hey, can I ask you something? Why would it be? If it was dirty, I'd blurt it out. I wouldn't hesitate. You sound convinced. No, I have something I want to ask. <laughs> it wasn't like she just started teasing me today. Even though I knew that, I was getting nervous. Maybe I was... No, no way. I just want to ask about her studies. No, not that. You never go to class, but your grades are top-notch. After the test, they talk about scores in class. Well, that's true in all schools, though. Uh, I don't know. You were in the top 10. You never go to class, but can pull a fluke like that? That's enough to be in the top 10? Hmm... Was I dealing with some kind of crazy genius here? I know that, but can you guarantee good scores with just that? I mean, I do, but... Even if you read the material, there's still the process of learning it, and that in itself requires effort. Of course, I read the book, but I review and do problem sets to actually retain it. So, do you read the books a bunch of times? Do you do, you do a lot of underlining and annotating? I thought only elementary school kids doodled in the book. I didn't know the Kaitai Shinso needed improvements. How nice of her. Yeah, in elementary school. Giving people a third eye on their foreheads. The thought also crossed my mind. 
だけしてる歴史上の人物って結構覚えたりしてない Yeah, if I see them again, I remember I drew an eye on them. じゃあ、勉強してたことになるよね。結果オーライだよ。But you said you don't doodle or anything now, right? Then, how do you remember stuff? I don't think it was like that. That's what I like to know. You like that, huh? <laughs> She was raw, unapologetic, and spontaneous. The school system could never hope to confine someone like her. Hmm. I felt like I tried my best, but it was becoming clear she had won this round. Okay, okay. You do read, and you do study hard. Huh? Oh, I see what you mean. You're laying it on thick with your queen persona, Miss Himari. No, I mean, it's fine. The shift from a wicked queen was too sudden. Even that was cute though. Sheesh. Yeah, I guess I don't absorb the textbooks as easily because I feel like I have to read it. Yeah, like that. Yours are spread a little too far. Yeah, I won't deny that. The word freedom f i t t e r like a glove. What's with you all of a sudden? If it's nothing, alright then. The mood definitely just dive bombed. Yup, math set, math set. It's all textbook problems, so you probably don't need to worry. Sure, no problem. That's a no go. Under no circumstances will I show you. If my answers are wrong, then yours will be too, right? But in math, if we have the same mistakes, it'll be easy to see that we cheated. Oh, Himari, trying to put the blame on me? How dare you! Don't be an evil genius. Be my guest. You make it sound like I'm forced to help you. But seriously, I'll help you with everything but the answers. Deal? Sheesh. If anything, I probably needed her help more than she did mine. She was showing off her genius, genius enough. Yep, buddy. Kyo no kaze wa kimochi ne. Suzu 
涼しさがちょうどいい感じだよ。Feeling better? <笑>この通り。That was pretty fast. ここはね、そういうところだから。I suppose you're right. He might always maintain a calm and serene expression here. That was, my, that was why her glum face, just a moment before, got to me. Yeah, eventually, maybe we could. Hey, wanna walk back together? You got it. Joking. Yeah, I guess. Somehow I found the courage to ask, but my heart was racing. She always took the initiative. I knew I would regret it. I would regret never taking a chance. What? No, that's not what I. <laughs> Whatever. You win. I can't guarantee it'll be good. Oh, I don't really have much to cook. Oh, why don't I make some oko okonomiya okonomiyaki? This is the only miracle I'm granting you. Let's go. If an option is going to appear that lets me, then yes. Huh? <laughs> Okonomiyaki is off the menu. No more messing with me. I might actually take you seriously. Be fine, huh? Y yeah, maybe I was a masochist. Oh, <sighs> coming back and feeling relaxed must mean I was used to my room. Maybe it was. Hyperbole because I just took a bath, though. Was it the bath, the room, or perhaps both? Hmm. Either way, I knew I had to get used to liking this place. That much was clear. The island where no one is ever unhappy, huh? There's only one week left. Maybe I could get Ahmed to collect some data. Maybe I could think of a whole new strategy. There was only one week left, but that also meant I had a whole week left. I had been here exactly three weeks. I met a lot of new people and discovered a lot of new things. If I still had a whole week, a whole week I'm sure things would work out. This is the island where no one is, is ever unhappy. And being pessimistic wouldn't get me anywhere. After all, I was here in this storm surrounded by a bunch of lively, char lively characters. I would never have had experiences with them if I hadn't come to this island, to the island. Lively characters. <laughs> we, already, we had already been through so much. Oh. We can either think about Himari, 
or think about Hazuki. Wow, this is some choice I have to go through, huh? But I think I'm going to go with Himari first because her character reminds me of、uh, Shirakawa Kotori from Da Capo, and the resemblance is almost the same because of the, the color of the eye and the color of the hair. So think about Himari. I had a less than fortunate first impression of, with Himari. But I have nothing but gratitude for those thin arms that pulled me out of the water. I had no idea I would be running into her in class the next day. But What was more surprising was her penchant for leaving class, her totally free lifestyle. As she stared into the sky, her smiling face was matched only by the sun itself. Her image burned itself into my being. Yeah, I'd like to see more of that. Ha 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 ha. Wasn't I trying to think about the Christmas party? I shifted gears immediately. Maybe I was a little calmer than I was letting myself believe. Deep down, I honestly believe this was the island where no one is ever unhappy. The figure bouncing around in my confused head had to be the candidate I was searching for. If I didn't pin it down quickly, things wouldn't work out in time for the party. <sighs> Time for bed, then. Feels like I could sleep a year. It was, a, it was an important issue, but I already knew from experience that stressing wouldn't make it better. Yeah, I needed to stay positive and take things in stride. Either way, today was over. Warm baths were so nice. My body just begs to be put into a deep rest. That's why I need. That's what I needed when I was stressed and confused. It was way better than lying awake and worrying. Yeah. I couldn't identify the reason, but I had a strong feeling things would work out. Anyway, tomorrow I would do my best to make things work one way or another. I was the one calling the shots. December 18th, Friday. And I guess that's the end of the common route because the image that just showed up recently was the, I guess, the sprite of Himari. So I guess this episode for the next one and on would be Himari's route. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the common route of Dal Segno. And I'll see you guys in the next episode in Asamiya Himari's route. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Izenbaka, signing out.